Welcome to the Super Memory for Schools program. My name is Wen Yu. Today we will continue the lesson of Unit 3, which is the grammar about past perfect tense. This is an important part in Unit 10. Then we will learn about the difference between past simple tense and past perfect tense. Before learning about the uses of any tense, we need to know about its form. The general form of past perfect tense is had plus past participle, or we often call past participle as verb 3 or verb ed. The affirmative form is subject plus had plus past participle. S here stands for subject. As for the negative form, we only need to add not after had, and we can write hadn't for short. That is, S plus had not plus past participle. As for the interrogative form, we will place the auxiliary had at the beginning of the sentence, followed by S and past participle, and finally the question mark. Please note that there is always a question mark at the end of a question. So we've just talked about the forms of past perfect tense. Now we will move on to the next part, which is the uses of past perfect tense. The first use of past perfect tense is to present an action already completed before a point of time in the past, another past action. An action already completed before a point of time in the past, or another past action. I have an example. We had eaten lunch before 2 o'clock. Or we can say, we had eaten lunch by 2 o'clock. Looking at this timeline, you can see that 2 o'clock is the time before and the action, we had eaten lunch, happens before 2 o'clock. So, when an action happened before another past action, we might use past perfect tense. Can you see that? Here is the time we had eaten lunch, then comes the time 2 o'clock. So, it's an action happening before another past action. So, we've had an example about an action happening before a point of time in the past. Now, we will consider the use, which is an action happening before another past action. I have the following example. We had eaten lunch before we met them. Or we can say, we had eaten lunch when we met them. Looking at this timeline, you can see that here is the time now, before it is the time we met them. And the time had eaten lunch even happens before the time we met them. So it's an action happening before another past action. We had eaten lunch, then we met them. So the action had eaten lunch is presented in the past perfect tense. So we've talked about the first use, which is action already completed before a point of time in the past, another past action. The second use is to present an action happening for a period of time in the past, or how long to a point of time in the past. I have an example. By January 1976, they have lived in that house for 10 years. What does that mean? Here is the time now, before it is the time January 1976. And the action live in that house happens at a past time that we don't know. However, from that time to January 1976, they had lived in that house for 10 years. So when an action happened for a period of time in the past, we might use past perfect tense. It means that up to January 1976, they had lived in that house for 10 years. I have another example. When we met them, they had lived in that house for 10 years. This example is similar to the above one. 
Looking at the timeline, we can see that here is the time we met them, before it is the action they had lived in that house. This action happens at a past time that we don't know. We only know that by January 1976, they had lived in that house for 10 years. As for an action that happened for a period of time in the past, we might use past perfect tense. And so we have just talked about the form and the uses of past perfect. The general form of past perfect tense is had plus past participle, or we often call past participle as V3 or VED. About the uses, past perfect tense has two uses. The first one is to present an action already completed before a point of time in the past, another past action. The second use is to present an action happening for a period of time in the past or how long to a point of time in the past. And now, let's move to the second main idea of our lesson today. That's the difference between the past simple and past perfect. I have two following examples. Example one, I bought this lamp last week. Example two, she drove in the car park, got out of the car, walked towards the cinema. Do you notice that the actions of these two examples are in past simple tense? Based on the first example, I bought this lamp last week, we can conclude that past simple tense is used to present an action in the past. What about this sentence? Another. In this sentence, past simple tense is used to present a series of actions. One comes straight after another. So, when we meet these two uses, we will use past simple tense. So, how about past perfect? As for past perfect tense, we need to remember its common use, which is to present an action happening before another past action. I have the following example. After Mary had written her letter, she went out to post it. Here we have a phrase, after somebody had done something, which means after finishing action one, she started doing action two. Or after completing the letter, she went out to post it. Another example, when Max had typed the message, he mailed it. This sentence means Max finished typing the message, then he mailed it. or after completing action A, he did action B. From these two examples, we can conclude that when we want to present an action happening before another past action, we often use the phrase, after somebody had done something, or when somebody had done something. These phrases mean after the completion of action A, someone moved to action B. Sometimes the use of simple past and past perfect for the same action can result in different meanings, causing misunderstanding for listeners. I have an example. When the boss arrived, the meeting began. What does the sentence mean? Looking at the timeline, you can see that the boss arrived and the meeting began. In this sentence, the order of actions is that first the boss came then the meeting began. In example two, the actions are the same, but I changed the tense to past perfect tense. When the boss arrived, the meeting had begun. Looking at the timeline, we can understand this sentence like this. 
the meeting began before the boss arrived. The order of actions is first, the meeting began, then the boss arrived. So the order of actions is different when we use past simple or past perfect. So we have just talked about the difference between past simple and past perfect. The simple past tense is used to present an action in the past or a series of actions. The past perfect tense is used to present a completed action before another action in the past. 